Hello everyone, let's continue this Rockwell Allen Bradley motion control topic. In the previous video, we online test those MC instructions. And in this video, I will show how can we grab the important signal that is a standard steel and the imprecision signal. Because to judge our axis arrive that precision, basically we will involve the standard steel signal and imprecision signal. Involve them together to judge if our axis arrive that position, arrive that target. All right, let me show how can we do that. Okay, firstly, let's create a new routine. New routine. And let's name it axis MC status. Okay, here. And from this main routine, let's call that GSR and let's call this status okay firstly that important status that is the access at stop status basically we need to use one important signal from the access that is a standard steel if we are using the virtual access from this virtual access because we are not connecting the actual hardware the standard steel signal will now show in here so in this virtual access it doesn't have the standard steel since our target is to set up this template motion control program. So even if we are using the virtual access, we better prepare the standard steel signal. That's why in the first video, I set up the second access, that is one actual servo motor access. So we will use that servo access as an example. And from that access, I will grab that standard steel signal just for demonstrate how can we use that standard steel signal? All right, let's go there. This is the virtual access. If we expand this, access two, this is a CIP drive access. Okay, if we scroll down, so we will find here from this CIP drive access, this variable named velocity standard steel status. This basically represent if this access is at a stop status. And how we can judge the standard steel? So if we go to the properties of this axis, and from this parameter list, scroll down at the bottom, here, that is the velocity standard steel window. Once our axis, that velocity within this window, that basically means our axis is at a stop status. So we could use this status here. Firstly, let's drag it. An alternative way we can use the compare. For example, we can use the limit. Go to the compare instruction and use this limit here. And we can directly use the average velocity. And because we are using this virtual access for this test, so this CIP drive, the standard steel status will be used as a space holder here, just to prevent we forget programming this, okay? This is a space holder here. And this value, we will use the average velocity. So we will scroll up, find out this virtual access. So we will use the average velocity because maybe your actual velocity will be a short run at zero, but that's not enough. We must guarantee our average velocity at zero. It depends on your application, how you can define this access is at a almost zero status. So the lower limit could be set as a minus 1.0. This is a speed unit. The higher limit could be set to 1.0. Okay, this could be a very narrow window. And the result we can output to positioning access application status dot at standstill. Okay, we will output our one variable we defined. Since this standard steel come from the actual CIP drive, because we are using the virtual access to replace this uh, standard steel signal alternative way, we can grab to another signal from the virtual access. One is from this virtual access, it has a stopping status. One is this, the move status. So basically, if the move and the stopping status they are zero. Also combine this 
average velocity almost zero signal. This basically means this virtual axis is at a standstill at the stop this status. Okay, so this is the one. And another thing, how can we judge if our system at a home position after the home, the axis? Firstly, we need to guarantee the system should be at a standstill status. And then we can use the home command complete. So once this MC home, this result shows a PC complete and our actual position is close with a zero. So that means we are at a home. So we can use this MC home. We can copy that, go back to this status here. And we will use that PC, okay? Also, we can judge that position here. We can still use this limitation here. And we can use that actual position, the virtual, that virtual access actual position. So here, that low limit could be set minus 1.0. So this is a millimeter positioning value, and a high limit could be set 1.0, okay? And output. So we can use the positioning access status at, so at home. So at positioning home, okay, here. Sometimes this PC will show a trigger or it will disappear. So here we can latch in this signal. So once we home this axis, it will latch in itself if this actual position also equal to zero, okay? So here, we can name it the access at home. And if you recall from our instruction, so if we scroll down, also we have a go home position here. So probably we can also use this, move absolute home, this command. Also use the PC here. So let's go back at here. Let's add a new branch level. We can also this move absolute command, the PC result, the PC complete signal. Okay, so if the actual position is still within this window, so we will judge it at a positioning home position. Okay, and next that is a position one. So we will use a similar idea. at a standstill, and this time the trigger signal, if we go back to the MC instruction, the first position, so we will use this command, the absolute position one, that PC signal, complete signal. Okay, so we will copy here, this command, positioning command, that PC. And that limitation here, if we go back, that target that is at 2000 here, higher and lower limitation. So we can set a range here, this 2000, for example, if we go back, this lower limitation could be 1999. And their higher limitation could set, could set this. So, and output, so this is the position one here. Here, I would like to mention one thing. Currently, we are using the fixed number running as a threshold. Ideally, we can use the variable. The variable can base on the, our target position, minus and plus a little bit of window. So if we change that target, so this window also can be automatically changed follow our target. That is easy for us to do the commissioning and the programming test. So using that variable will be very convenient. Don't forget, here we can latch in this result here. Okay. 
All right, we will follow this style and program the positioning two and the three. Those at position signal would be used for multiple purpose. One typical way we will use that is for the sequence control. As we know, the MC instruction, we better control or execute the motion control command one time, one command. Once one command complete, and then we trigger the next one. So the best way to organize this, that is uh, using the sequence control. So how can we judge when command finish or complete and the access arrive at position, right? They are this signal. So the basic idea is we trigger this command and then waiting for this in positioning feedback. And once we get this uh, in position feedback, and then we move to the next step, execute the next command, trigger the next MC instruction, and do this one by one. This will prevent we overlap, we trigger two instructions at the same time. All right, in this video, we talk about the standstill and position in position signal. They are common used variable we will use for our common programming. And in next video, I will show how can we use the trend to monitor our speed and the position. Basically, the trend can be used to optimize our positioning control or monitor the positioning actual position. Especially, sometimes we need to monitor or optimize the acceleration or deceleration and the specific position. In next video, I will introduce how can we use this trend to monitor the speed and the position. See you in next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.